I want to show you now how to create a DJ style scratching and spinning effect using Synchronic. Now I'm going to do this using the B side of the sound module and by editing the playback module on two of the empty presets. There are 12 empty presets on the playback module and the effects module that you can call up and tweak to your heart's content. So let's edit the playback module and create a spinning effect. The first thing I need to do is change the mode from standard to spin and edit the pitch up and down. I'll change the shape of the LFO and set the rate of the LFO to be offbeat. And we'll change the duration to be 16th notes. And that takes care of the spinning. So now let's do the stabbing effect. So I'm going to call up preset number two in the playback module. And this time the mode will be stab. I'm going to bring up both pitches. There we go. And this time, I'm going to tell the direction to be forwards and backwards. Unbelievable. Here's preset 1, spinning. And preset 2, stabbing. So now I can recall any of the playback module presets just by playing some of the higher notes on my keyboard controller. Now as I recall them, the playback module affects the A side and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hit MIDI assign, play C3, turn off the A side, play C sharp 3 and turn it off too. That way my main loop is unaffected by any of the effects we've just made. I also want to reassign the crossfader to controller number 103 which corresponds to one of these knobs on my controller. So now check out what you can do simply by changing the playback module with your MIDI keys and moving this knob right here for the crossfader. You can only do this sort of thing with Synchronic. And of course, everything I'm doing right now can be recorded and automated in real time. In fact, that's what we're going to do. I'll come down, I'll take it out of solo mode, record enable, and off we go.